Hello and welcome. Today I want to show you guys something really awesome about the new Sky Viper V2450 GPS. There's a hidden feature on it that is absolutely amazing. You can actually access all the internal information and flight parameters of the new Sky Viper V2450 GPS using your smartphone or tablet and you can actually change them. So let me show you how it's done and how it looks like. So once you uh, start up and bind the quadcopter, um, you know, once you plug in the battery and then turn on the transmitter and then wait for it to bind, then you do the next step, which is to uh, connect it to your Wi-Fi. In this case, I'm using a tablet. So you would look for the Sky Viper uh, GPS. So you would connect to that. And if it's your first time using it, or you haven't changed the default password, the password would be Viper GPS, V-I-P-E-R GPS. So once you connect to that, you can go in and look at uh, the information of the connection. So if you look at the info here, you'll look at the uh, router, which is the, the router is actually or the Wi-Fi signal is coming from the quadcopter and you'll notice its IP address. In this case, it's 192.168.99.1. And so once you do that, uh, once you see that, you could also use an app to, uh, to uh, detect what its um, IP address is. But in this case, you can just look it up in the information and you could probably do the same thing on Android. So uh, once you have that, you would open a new web browser instance. So in this case, I'll open up an instance of uh, Safari. And then once you open that up, you type in that IP address, 192.168.99.1. And it will open up the primary web page of the Sky Viper, which uh, it'll look like this. Now, it may actually be the same IP address on, on everyone. So you probably just from this video, you could probably just use that IP address once you're connected to the Sky Viper. And now you have access to all sorts of information here. And of course, this is being generated from internally from the chip on the Sky Viper. So you've got a whole bunch of information here. You have flight access. Uh, if you look in here, you can look up information about the, you know, flight. You have the system control. You can, you know, control uh, video parameters or whether, it, you know, you can actually even fire off some of the functions of this. Uh, you know, take a picture, look at the camera feed, etc. from the, the uh, web browser here. Um, you know, Wi-Fi setup, uh, bind a transmitter, all sorts. I mean, there's just hundreds uh, of parameters on here, maybe even thousands, I'm not sure. So we're not going to go over them in detail in this video. But I encourage you, if, if you just recently bought one of these or and you feel very comfortable and and you want to go that extra mile uh, with it, uh, I encourage you maybe to check this out, you know, just type this in. Now, uh, do this at your own risk because there are several flight parameters and I'll show you now. Let's look at flight parameters. There are hundreds of flight parameters that you could change here. And look, you see in different categories. Um, let me see, we put all. I mean, you can see all these flight parameters that you can change. Everything from the pitch to um, how it handles the GPS, uh, to, to the compass, to the, uh, you know, every single little detail of its flight characteristics can be modified uh, here and then saved. And then once you save it, um, it will be reflected on the quadcopter. And in fact, you could probably even do this while this is active in the air. So it is a little scary because if you do set something the wrong way, 
uh, you could potentially cause this to fly very poorly or maybe not even fly at all. So be very careful. I would only recommend this, you know, to advanced users or once you feel comfortable with this, maybe changing some mild parameters. But uh, if there's something, definitely if there's something here that you don't understand, uh, I wouldn't, you know, I'd leave it alone. Uh, but yeah, you could change so many things. Uh, you can get a feed from the uh, camera. Let's see, uh, system status. Uh, shows you a little bit of information. Let's see, camera right up here. So yeah, see, you get a feed from the camera right here on its uh, web page here. So uh, information about the transmitter. You can see even uh, graphs and stuff, how much throttle it's getting. Uh, so let's see if I, if I apply some throttle here. Just apply some throttle there so it shows you that. And you've got all sorts of information, GPS information. Um, right now I think we have it on indoor because you know we can't really get any satellites, but you get all sorts of GPS information. Um, let's see, calibration. You can calibrate the um, accelerometer and so on and so forth. Actually, let's go back to calibration. Um, yeah, I guess you could do a compass calibration from here as well, so that might be very good. Uh, motor calibration, uh, combined calibration, so that's really cool. And what else do you have here? You can upgrade the firmware from here, uh, video parameters, you know, you can change all sorts of um, video parameters on here. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is really cool here. Development tools. You can tune all sorts of things on here. So yeah, just very neat. Um, I mean, if you, uh, since this is on uh, running off of Arju Pilot, and uh, you know it's you know open to the public. It's open source Arju Pilot. You can view and edit the parameters. You can modify this. Uh, you could do so many things with this. Um, and I believe there are users out in the community that are already uh, modifying the chip in certain ways and doing all sorts of things. So I just wanted to show you guys uh, this functionality because it's very cool. But once again. Uh, this is something you should try at your own risk. Uh, if you're definitely new to quadcopters and you don't feel comfortable editing some of these parameters, um, I, you know, don't take a chance. Uh, you can do more research on this and, um, and get more information on it and maybe give it a shot. But until then, I, I don't recommend it. You know, if you're if definitely if this is, you know, brand new to you. But if you are very curious and uh, you, you have built quadcopters and have programmed them and whatnot, this may be something neat for you to check out. So just wanted to share that with you, that neat little feature. So enjoy.